they could not have been better. Therefore, I am proud and happy to proclaim that you have presented to the world the best Olympic Games ever. It has been 20 years since the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. What a piece of history this was for the city and the country. For the past week, I have browsed, watched, researched, and even found my personal mementos from these great games. Newspaper articles that have been kept away, taken out, and sharing them now with you. Photographs, and even boxing kangaroos. Sid, Millie, and Ollie, the mascots for the Olympic Games. Only being six years old at the time, even for me, this felt special. Because while the Olympics is about the sport, and bringing out the best athletes from all corners of the world. It was more than just the sporting event. For 16 days, the world's eyes was on Sydney, and we delivered the greatest show possible, welcoming everyone from around the world to our home. The Olympic torch started it all. The path from Uluru, Ayers Rock, to Greg Norman, walking the flame along the Sydney Humber Bridge at 6 o'clock in the morning. I was there. And to the Olympic rings, shining beautifully along the great coat hanger. The amazing opening ceremony, which 20 years later still amazes me. Even more so now with stories emerging of how the whole show could have been a complete disaster. The story of the ceremony was beautifully put together, and with Kathy Freeman lighting the flame and opening the games. The atmosphere, the joy, Australians and the world came together. And that's what I remember most about the Olympics. The positives, the happiness. Everyone was just simply enjoying themselves. Sydney was just so, so proud. For the events themselves, I cannot go through all the moments. But of course, the standouts, the Australian swimmers, Ian Thorpe, Grant Hackett, the whole swimming team, the soccer roos, the hockey roos. And I'll mention the baseball, which I was there against a fairly good competitor in the United States. Yeah, nah, we, we got smashed, 12 to one. Yes, I still remember the score. But of course, Kathy Freeman in the 400 final, the best of the best. And some of these moments you can watch on YouTube. Definitely go check them out. When it comes to the final medal tally, what an achievement for Australia. Fourth overall, finishing behind the giants of USA, Russia, China. Now to the closing ceremony. This is more iconic to me than the opening of the games. For two main reasons. The amazing finale of fireworks over Sydney Harbour. And now an Australian legend, Juan Antonio Samaranch, IOC president at the time. Delivering the closing ceremony speech giving the country and the game so much praise and then declaring, quote, you made it. They couldn't have been better. And therefore, I browse and happy to proclaim that you have presented to the world the best Olympic Games ever. That piece of history will last forever. But the finale to the best ever was such an impressive fireworks display, which made me realize 20 years later watching it, how did they pull this off so perfectly? A river of lightning fireworks from Stadium Australia to Sydney Harbour. That is over 12 Ks, 12 kilometers. Perfectly synced music. And then the F-111 jet blasting over the Sydney Harbour Bridge and the bridge erupts with fireworks. Incredibly timed to perfection. One chance nailed it. And for 20 minutes, Sydney, as it always does, just shows off with fireworks. Music incorporated with the five continents, the five Olympic rings, with the finale just being something magical. The Olympic rings beaming down on the bridge, finally exploded into darkness. As the Olympic Games are now gone, it's over. I was down on the harbour that night. I will never forget that moment. I said, they're gone. And I started crying as if it was never coming back. And to be honest, I don't want them back. 
It's a once in a lifetime event and having them again will not feel the same. Maybe another Australian city, but not here, not again. We pulled off the best, let it be. It's also important to mention the Paralympic Games as well. While it's not as big as the main event, Sydney pulled off another great spectacle and good on all the athletes competing in the Paralympic Games as well, just following the Olympic Games. This is the Sydney Cider. Happy 20th anniversary to the best ever. They could not have been better. Therefore, I am proud and happy to proclaim that you have presented to the world the best Olympic Games ever.